Well, a number of our affiliates um, up and down the country at uh, clubs like Everton, Liverpool, Newcastle United and others have played a fantastic role in supporting their local food banks. It's it's stuff that really in this day and age shouldn't have to be done. But where there is a need in the community, it's great to see football fans responding to that need and being proactive and helping out. And all we're trying to do here is to share that experience, promote the idea and hopefully encourage more fan groups to get involved in similar sorts of activities at their local level. Well, football clubs are rooted in communities, whether the owners of them like that or not. There's no question, no escaping the fact that football clubs are all about a sense of identity, a sense of belonging to the local community. And communities look after their own, and that's what you're seeing here is the very best of football fans responding to that need. Well, today's come about because hopefully other football clubs want to follow what's being done in Liverpool and Newcastle. Uh, I'm not quite sure who else is doing it at the moment. Uh, we're going to find out today. But certainly we've been doing it here for about a year and it's made an enormous difference to the food bank and it's given the fans a focus of being able to help people and it's rather a wonderful dynamic because the fans are coming together as people who live in the area to help those who are in need in the area so it makes it all very local and it's a very wonderful thing to see fans having that sort of social conscience where they actually want to help people because fans sometimes get a bad press and they don't deserve it so, yes it is and it, it goes from the working class fans up to the management of the football club and the manager of the club and some of the players help as well so they come out and they give their time and they volunteer and you know they, they give some money as well from time to time um, and the fans are very keen to see this happening and gradually our link with the football club is developing more and more and uh, you know we hope that that will be able to continue in the future oh yeah we shouldn't be here and you know our ambition is not to be here so we would love it if we weren't needed but unfortunately looking ahead for the next four or five years I can't see any way that we're not going to be needed so what's happening is the National Supporters Association Federation have looked at the situation, looked at what we're doing and thought, well, could more clubs and more food banks get together and help more people across the country through the power of football? And it's, you know, it's, it's a wonderful thing to see developing, so hopefully we're going to have a great day here today and, you know, we'll, we'll get more people on board. The second thing that we want to do, and this is what the, the meat of the day, if you like, is to celebrate the achievements of the shared best practice, to, to find out a bit more what, you know, what people are doing, learn from each other. And that sort of thing. Is more inspiring, and uh, I really think that what we're doing, what you're doing here today, is making such a difference to so many lives that um, I'm really proud that you're, it's happening today in my city. Thank you very, very much. Thanks very much, Chief. I'm going to hand over responsibility for uh, the. Hello, Chief. How are you? <laughs> Give me a